Steve Cooper Rank Success and this is another video in this short series of videos I'm doing on the competency and values framework. Just a short introduction to uh, each competency and uh, this one is about uh, the competency we're innovative and open-minded. Now as I've encouraged in the other videos just, just take a beginner's mindset to this. If you don't know anything, I've just noticed I look like a thorn between two roses here with these flowers behind my head here. They're not earrings honestly. Um, yeah, um, we're in an open mind. You take a beginner's mindset to it, uh, a beginner's mindset to it, and just just think through uh, the fact that it's two words: uh, innovative and open-minded. Even though it's one competency, and uh, have a think about what each of those terms means first, and, and write it down and get used to it, because that's what you're going to be assessed on. Um, so. Um, Innovative uh, is around new ideas, being novel, being creative, um, uh, being original, being fresh. And uh, open-minded is about uh, willing to consider new ideas, you're unbiased, you're accepting, you're unprejudiced. Um, have a creativity box in your head, you know, what ideas have you got? You know, what isn't being done quite right in your force, in your uh, BCU, in your area? Uh, on your subdivision, you know, what, what could be done better and have an idea for that, a creativity box. Um, the only constant is change when it comes to promotion processes and I've blogged about that and I've also kind of alluded to uh, a VUCA world, a volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous world. So people who are creative, people who can apply a, a modicum of innovation to things are um, quite attractive in terms of promotion uh, because anybody can carry on doing things as they've always been done but in order to kind of police successfully and to provide an effective and efficient service generally change is the only constant but so is innovation and creativity generally um, provided or often provided from from uh, officers themselves so being open-minded and being reflective helps in a uh, pressured situation and where there's change ongoing all the time it can be quite frustrating so the guidance for the competency um, refers to uh, exploring a number of different sources of information and using a variety of tools when you're faced with problems so um, the same old thinking sometimes won't win through so when they talk about different tools what does that mean to you and it can mean uh, the NDM so the National Decision Model, it's a great tool. It's, yes, it's an, um, a classic and very effective decision-making model, but it's also a problem-solving model. Uh, it can be used to think through issues and to work through issues and risks and to identify learning, uh, individual team and organizational learning. Um, it, it's, uh, you could also use um, problem-orientated um, policing, so models, um, so SARA, uh, SARA, uh, Scan, Analyze, Respond and Assess, or PAT, the Problem Analysis Triangle, um, where you focus resources at the victim, offender or location with the problem at the heart of the triangle. And hopefully when you do that, uh, the problem can be, can be resolved. So being flexible on top of that as well in your thinking, you know, what, what might work, what are you prepared to try? Um, spotting opportunities. So you could use um, SWOT, which is another tool, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And any of these tools can be found freely uh, on, on Google, quick Google search. But they're also embedded in um, College of Policing, um, Authorised Professional Practice, and you'll find it elsewhere on other sites in, in policing. Um, so spotting opportunities and encouraging others to be creative. So creating an environment as a leader, as a manager, as a supervisor, in which your staff feel confident to make suggestions and uh, you know good suggestions, good practice. Um, and um, understanding that you don't have a monopoly on good ideas. Nobody does. And often the best ideas can come from people who are at least expected. So people new in service who come in and look at things with a fresh pair of eyes and go, what, why do you do things that way? So if you're able to listen, it might be that you can be innovative and creative around that. And sharing ideas and views and uh, understanding what good practice looks like and getting a, an environment where people can share uh, um, new ways of working, new working practices. 
And don't forget that stage of the NDM, stage five, because that specifically asks for you to review things. And from there, often it's a case of what went well, what didn't go well, what might work differently next time. So being innovative and creative is a kind of attitude and approach as well as being a competency. So that's just a little quick tour around that competency. And just, just don't be too fixed in it. Take that beginner's mindset. What does being innovative and creative mean to you? Just go from there. Okay, so that's uh, another short video done on one of the CVF competencies. Uh, if you like these uh, videos and you want to tune into the uh, the others I'm going to do on the values, uh, then by all means uh, subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Follow me on social media uh, at rank underscore success or on Facebook it's rank success. You can uh, download a digital toolkit. You can come on a master class. You can do any of these things, uh, but I'll be doing another video shortly, and uh, I look forward to it. Take care. Bye.